Hey, what's up guys? This is Ray and welcome to Asia Filmist. And the movie we'll be talking about today is the 2017 film Neko Atsume House, directed by Kurokata Masatoshi and starring the ever charismatic Ito Atsushi. This movie, if you can't tell by the title, is an adaptation of the very popular smartphone game Neko Atsume. If you guys haven't played it, be warned that if you start, you might get addicted. It's one of those games that's kind of pointless to play, but for some odd reason, you just find yourself uh, going back to it. And Neko Atsume actually spawned a whole number of spin-offs. You know, Neko Atsume focuses on cats, but some of the spin-offs uh, focus more on other things. For example, me being a Kamen Rider fan, there were, uh, I was once on uh, Kamen Rider Atsume, which is pretty much the exact same concept of the game. Now, this, the concept of the game is you basically put a bunch of items, toys, and uh, obstacles and what have you out in your yard and you attract different sorts of cats and uh, you have to be very uh, careful with the timing you actually go and check in your yard and you see what cats are playing with the toys and then from there you just take photos of them and it's simple and it's pointless and it's for some reason it's way addictive so the story of Neko Atsume House, it's about an author by the name of Sakamoto who's played by Ito Atsushi. And he's in kind of a slump. He has a really bad case of writer's block. So what he does is he moves house, rents a house out in the countryside in order to reinvigorate his creativity. And then he starts to notice that uh, cats, these stray cats from around the neighborhood start coming into his, his yard. And so what he does, he kind of plays around. He leaves dry food out on his porch for the cats to eat and then he discovers that you know after each day after each night the dry food disappears so he wants to try to catch the cats in action and he he puts out more food puts out toys uh, things that will attract these cats and and before you know it he's just bombarded with all sorts of cats and so you can tell with that description that it's essentially an honest live adaptation of the game it's kind of pointless and you just can't help but come back and enjoy the cute cats. And so that being said, let's talk about the goods and the bads of this movie. First, the goods. First, fans and or players of the Neko Atsume game will recognize a lot of the items that are used by Ito to attract the cats into his yard. A lot of these items are, you know, typical items like balls that you can find in any kind of pet shop but other but other items are really like hand-picked from the game and brought to life in this movie and the cats that are attracted by these items and these toys they're all so damn cute I mean if you're a cat person I'm a cat person this movie will sing to you with that aspect you know cuteness aside the performance by Ito Atsushi is very charming I mean he, I think every movie that he's in he delivers a fine performance and this movie is no exception granted there is nothing uh, tremendously uh, deep about his character here is just a guy in a slump and he wants to retreat into the countryside to to get back his mojo but then to see Ito's character just fall in love with the cats that come and play into his yard you can't help but kind of feel in sync with him I mean if you were in his shoes you would have the exact same reactions as he did and, you know this is definitely not his best role but it's still a charming one nonetheless and other than Ito Atsushi's performance this movie also features the talents of uh, Kutsuna Shiori and Kimura Taya both outstanding actresses in their own right and they both deliver very uh, fine performances here too Kutsuna Shiori plays uh, what is essentially uh, the author's manager at the, his publishing company and she is the one in charge of making sure that he meets his deadlines and comes and collects his drafts and Kimura's character she is a shopkeeper of a local pet shop where Sakamoto finds himself at in order to find food and toys for his beloved cats and I like how this movie's plot is really simple and easy to follow it doesn't try to overcomplicate itself with with different messages or anything beyond what you can expect from a cute cat movie and that's something I appreciate and but you know that's something I, I have to say that's good but it's also kind of something how to say that's bad in the sense that the movie isn't deep at all and you won't get much of a plot other than cute cats and honestly in between the scenes that feature the cats playing the story is horribly slow you might find yourself uh, snoozing and or just waiting until the cats come back on screen and you know 
because that's essentially what you watch this movie for. You want to see the cats uh, play with the different toys. You want to see cats being cute cats. I mean, you understand the center of the story is this author who's trying to get his mojo back and trying to get his creative, uh, his creative gears uh, working again. However, you know, when you watch a movie like Neko Atsume House, you know, when you see the title and you know it's source material, you just, you just don't care about it. You just want to see more cats. That's not saying that this movie doesn't have enough cats. I think there are plenty of scenes that feature uh, as much cuteness as, as it can. But I feel like the, rather than have the story of an author trying to get his creative juices flowing again, you want to just you just want to see him take photos of the cats because that's what you do in the game. You take photos of the cats in the game, and you know, and Sakamoto in this movie he takes photos of the cats, and that's essentially what you just want to watch this movie for. And overall, what do I think of Neko Atsume House? It's cute. It's definitely for fans of the game, and it's definitely for cat lovers. I also appreciate how it's not terribly long. Uh, you know, typically a movie goes for about two hours, but this is noticeably shorter than that. And I think the time length was great. However, uh, expect to feel that the plot can really drag along. And you, as I said earlier, all you're waiting for is just for the next scene with Cat to come. Do I recommend this movie? Uh, maybe. If you have a free afternoon and you don't want to watch anything too serious or too mind-boggling, and you just want something fun and light and cute, then this is definitely a movie to watch. And so yeah, those are my thoughts on Neko Atsume House. What did you guys think? Or what kind of questions did you guys have? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to Asian Filmist to join in more discussions about Asian films. And you can even follow Asian Filmist on Facebook and Twitter. And by all means, follow me on my personal Twitter at RayMaru555 so we can talk up more about films there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys again in the next video. Take it easy.